over the next two days, we're going to see how much volition we have here as a team. We're going to test you. We're going to push you outside of your comfort zone today out on the turf field, tomorrow morning in the 13-foot end of a swimming pool. We're going to see how much volition each and every one of us has. We didn't tell them anything. We told them to show up Monday at a certain time uh, and that we were going to do something different, something special. One, two, three. It was, it was rumors around like for a boot camp, but we didn't know exactly what was going on. Well, I didn't know what to expect. I really thought we were just going to run until our tongues fell out. When we heard that there was two Marine Corps that was going to be running it, we obviously knew that, and it was going to be three hours long, we obviously knew that we were going to have a big workout. We're going to attack everything we do today everything we do tomorrow. Attacking is your 100%, 100% of the time. What we did is we decided uh, at the end of last year that we needed something to bring this group together. I thought it was a, uh, last year, excuse me, a lot of young guys. Uh, so we felt like we needed something, a different voice, something to motivate them, something to get, whether it mental toughness or team bonding. So we did some research, uh, reached out to some other universities and the program uh, really came out as the, the something that we thought would be pretty special. The very first thing we did was go into the turf and line up on a straight line. Once you know the rules and we're clear on it, then we start it. If you hit 16 minutes to standard, we're moving on. We're moving on. But every time Adam and I have to fix you, correct your mistakes, hold you accountable to the standards, I'm just going to keep resetting the clock back to zero. We started doing. Uh, like I said, different workouts that, that pushed us to the max. Yeah. Right now, I need a volunteer. It ain't biology class. Come on up. Yeah, yeah. Let's go, Charles. Yeah. All right, so inside, I gave this great speech about attacking. Attacking is 100%, 100% of the time, right? And I said we're going to attack everything we do, correct? So why then would you walk yourself at 30% out from the 5 to the 10? Have it. Have it. Be made to have it. Start practice at 30%. Start practice at 40%. Eagle, I'll just step back in there. And still, still we're going at maybe, maybe we're going at 40%. I'm going to show you what attacking looks like, what it feels like, so that we're all clear on what's expected. Attack! One, two, three. One. One, two, three. Two. One, two, three. Three. One, two, three. Four. One. Two, three, five. As a team, I thought, like I said, we were struggling in the beginning to just stay on the same page. We had to have focus, toughness, and make sure we were unselfish enough to complete each each uh, workout that they put us through. And and like I said, it was it was tough at first, but we fought through it. Down. I think we learned as a team where we are and you know how far we have to go and I think we've came a long way since we've had that experience with the program. I think it helped us a lot showing us um, how much of a team we really need to be to take that next step and you know where we were. It just it wasn't good enough, but now I think we're finally starting to understand where we need to be. It's been applied every day since. Just little things that you would never think of all of a sudden we're able to go back to, whether we're in the pool or, or the log carry or the carrying your teammate or um, you know command and demand uh, response. Uh, again, the toughness, the discipline, the unselfishness, uh, and every single thing. We've had multiple practices uh, since we've brought them in, and we've been able to address 
Hey, remember the time we were in the pool and you had to do this, you had to do that, you had to rely on each other. Well, that's the same thing going on right here. You talk about the man to your right and the man to your left. Well, that's defense right there. You know, the man to your right, man to your left, you got to help the guy that's in the middle. And I think that stuff comes up every single day in everything we do now.